Hi, I'm from Ukraine. And since Russia invaded my country in the attempt to kill and enslave us, Ukrainians, it became very crucial to have a way to quickly back up all of your work files in case of some unforeseen situations. So today I'll show you how to back up however many preset folders for each of your third-party VST plugins manufacturer easily with one click into your desired location. For this you'll need to download a free software that is called Free File Sync. After you open it, on the left half of the screen you'll be setting the original presets folders that you'll want to back up and on the right side you'll decide the location for each backup folder. Let's create five lines for five presets folders locations. Let's insert our folder locations into each line. Also, I recommend you to have a Google Sheet document in which all of your presets folders locations will be stored just in case and also to just never forget and leave off any folders behind. After that, we need to decide where we want our files to be stored. Of course, it should be a single folder for our easy life, but you'll also need to create subfolders for each plugin manufacturer. Why? Because otherwise you will get a mess of files. You will be able to try it for yourself if you want. Now we're good to go. Let's pick a mode of synchronization. I pick a mirror mode because it ensures that the number of files in the backup folder will every time be exactly the same as in the original folder on the moment of the synchronization. And also, yes, this process is technically called synchronization, a mirror synchronization, but we use it for uh, backing up our files. Now we just proceed with the process of the actual backup, which is mirror synchronization, three seconds, and we are done. Easy. Let's check our backup folder and, uh, hmm, weird. We inserted five locations, but have only three folders created. Why is that? The reason is that two of the original folders are actually empty. Let's fix that by creating a txt file inside one of the folders. Let's run the process of mirror synchronization one more time. After checking the folders, we now see that a new folder with a txt file was created. That is a success. But what if we now delete the txt file in the original location and mirror synchronize once more? You can see that the file exists in backup folder because we already backed it up, but it's non-existent in the original folder already. In mirror synchronization mode, it means that txt file from backup folder will be deleted as it's non-existent in the original location. So that is the mirror mode. It's very useful to make sure that you don't have any trash in your backup files. Uh, by the way, the most important now is to save our process because we need to save our a list of folders and their destination locations. So just click save as, name that file and save it whenever you want. It will create a file and if you launch that file it will open free file sync and you will just need to mirror synchronize it and you're good to go. Also in this software you can do a scheduled backups. I haven't done that yet but uh, you can try it for yourself. It would be very handy to have backups like every first day of new month. And of course you can use this software for other backups that you might have to do. It's just beautiful. And yes, thank you for watching. Greetings to you from Ukraine. Bye.